Hello everyone, I am Shadha Shurao and welcome to Shadha Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important Java collections interview questions. The first question is, how many bits are used to represent the Unicode, ASCII and UTF-16 and UTF-8 characters? Unicode requires a 16-bit and ASCII requires a 7-bit, although the ASCII character set used only 7 bit it is usually represent as 8 bit utf8 represents the characters using 8 16 and 18 bit patterns utf16 uses 16 bit and larger bit patterns these are the different bits are used to different uh, characters the next question is what are the differences between list and set? List can contain a duplicate elements whereas set can contain only unique elements. A list is an ordered grouping of elements. List is used to collection of elements with duplicates. List new methods are undefined inside the list interface. And coming to the set, set is, a, is an unordered group of elements. Set is used to collection of elements without duplicates. No new methods are defined inside the set interface. So we have to use collection interface methods only with the set subclasses. These are the major differences between list and the set. The next question is what is the difference between set and map? Set contains values only whereas map contains key and values both and coming to the dupli duplicity list allows duplicate elements any number of duplicate elements can be inserted into the list without affecting the same existing value and their indexes set doesn't allows the duplicate and set and all of these classes which implements set interface should have unique elements and set contains the values only whereas set contains only values and whereas map contains key and value pairs formats the next question is what is the difference between hash set and hash map hash set contains only values whereas hash map contains entry means key and value pairs hash set can be iterated but hash map need to convert into set to be iterated hash map is a implementation of map interface and hash set is a implementation of set interface hash map stores a data in the form of key value pairs hash set stores only objects put method is used to add the elements into the hash map and add method is used to add the elements into the hash set in hash map hash code value is calculated using the key objects in the hash set here member objects is used for calculating the hash code value which can be the same for two objects so equal method is used to check for equality if returns false that means two objects are different hash map is faster than hash set because unique key is used to access the objects hash set is slower than the hash map these are the major differences between hash map and hash set. The next question is what is the difference between hash map and tree map? A hash map maintains a no order but tree map maintains ascending order. A hash map doesn't maintain any order but in a tree map elements are sorted according to the natural order. Hash map is internally implemented on principle of hashing. Tree map is implemented internally by using red block tree implementation. Hash map can store one null key. Tree map cannot store null keys. Hash map provide order of one performance for get and put methods. Tree map provides log of n time for get and put method methods. These are the major differences between hash map and tree map the next question is what is the difference between comparable and comparator comparable provides only one sorting of the sequence 
comparator provides multiple sort of the sequences it provides one method name compare to method it provides one method name compare method it is found in java.lang package it is found in java.util package if we implement comparable interface actual class is modified and actual class is not modified if you implement comparable interface actual class is modified if we implement the comparator interface actual class is not modified if you see here the comp there is a methods in the comparable interface the method is used to compare the objects compared to method in the comparator the compare method is used to compare the two objects in the comparable compare to returns three return values it may be one of the return value it may be a negative or it may be a zero or it may be a positive in the comparator also it returns the it comparator also compare method returns the three values it may be a negative or positive or zero in comparable you must modify the class whose instances you want to sort in the comparator you build a class separate from the class whose instances you want to sort in the comparable only one sort sequence can be created in the comparator many sort sequences will be created in the comparable implemented frequently in the api by string wrapper clauses and date calendar etc in the comparator meant to be implemented to sort the instances of third party classes also these are the major differences between comparable and comparator interfaces the next question is what is the main implementations of set interface the main implementations of the set interface as follows there are hash set reset linked hash set and enum set the set implementations are hash set linked hash set enum set reset and sorted set and a navigatable set these are the major implementations of set interface the next question is what is the importance of static variable the static variable are a class level variables where all objects of the class refers to the same variable if one object change the value of then the change gets reflected to all the objects a static variable is a class level variable where all the objects of the class refers to the same variable if one object is changed the value of the change gets reflected to in all objects that is the static method the static method is only applicable in the so only applicable in the class level only thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye